Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube and happy Thursday. We're back with another episode of Monster Hunter. And while you guys were away, I did a little bit of playing. I just did two simple boring quests. Uh, one was to learn how to make the Mega Potion. I was gonna show that to you guys, but it ended up just being super boring. It's just me basically gathering um, blue mushrooms, herbs, and honey, and you mix those together to make a Mega Potion. Super, super boring quest. Uh, the next quest I completed on my own was just a gathering mission for some mushrooms. You're literally just going around and gathering up mushrooms. So I got those two out of the way for us So this time we can actually start doing some real quests and we just got a request from the chef uh, Who wants us to slay some conchu? But first I'm gonna go and see if I can upgrade my insect glaive to see if I can get a stronger weapon Because conchu shells are very hard and they make your weapon go dull very fast So we're gonna see the man Forge, uh, we're gonna upgrade equipment. There we go. All right, I get it. Hmm. So we can give nectar to our insect, um, and it's basically the way to power up the insect. You see that growth bar? Uh, every time that that's filled up, you can actually upgrade your insect. It's kind of like evolving it like a Pokemon. Um, so depending on what nectar you give it, it affects how strong your insect is um, and how fast it is and things like that. Um, so for example, power nectar fire would help with fire resistance and just fire power. And power plus nectar uh, actually makes the weapon stronger, but when you make it stronger, you also make it slower. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it all of these because it's just so early. Um, and we cannot upgrade it until that bar is full. So we can't do anything new. Yeah, see, to, to upgrade it more, we need the catch a long bone and the jumbo bone. Uh, and to get the catch a long bone, we actually have to fight a catch a watcha, uh, but we haven't gotten there yet. Uh, and when we do upgrade it, this is what he'll look like. Isn't he beautiful? You guys know I would freaking kill for like a kinsect I could wear on my arm. Oh my god. I got to wear one at the Capcom booth. Uh, last year i think it was at e3 and take a picture with it it was so cool uh and you can level up your armor uh but i don't have any armor spheres with me because it's so early in the game so we really can't upgrade anything yet and you can make all kinds of cool weapons and headgear for your kitty uh but unfortunately i haven't gotten that far in the game yet to unlock them so he just has the generic outfit and that's mochi all right well, we tried our best to upgrade our weapons, so we're just gonna go ahead and take that Kanju quest with what we got. Here we go. Slate 8 Kanju. Alright, and before we go on a quest where we're fighting monsters, it's always good to eat. So, you can choose all kinds of ingredients. It's on the bottom screen, you guys can't see it. Uh, but it's basically you just pick and choose what ingredients you want and you check out the abilities they give you and if they're abilities that you need then you eat that meal. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I usually just get a meat and a fish. And that says it speeds up sharpening time and it helps your weapon retain sharpness when attacks are deflected, which is perfect. And this is really great because it helps you sharpen your weapon faster because when you fight Kanchu, it gets dull really fast because their shells are very hard. And it also has deflector, which means that every time it bounces off their, their backs and their um, armor, it doesn't do more damage by making your sword mold more dull. So this is perfect for us. I'm gonna eat that. And there's this whole cutscene. Uh, I guess I won't skip it for the first time so you guys can kind of see it because it's cute. Uh, but it's usually, this is a very long cutscene and it happens every single time you eat. Uh, so you can skip this and I highly recommend it. They don't show the cutscene at all during a multiplayer. So, And it looks like all of my effects were activated. Uh, check what I have in my box, make sure I have everything I need. I don't need these. So put these away so I can gather new stuff. All right. And we're off. Let's go slay some conchu. 
All right, so we got our map and we're gonna take all the goodies out of the box because they're free party favors, why not? All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eat some rations now so that uh, I can have a little bit more stamina to run farther. And we're off. This is normally a time when I would take the advantage to gather, uh, but I'm here with you guys and I don't want to keep you guys waiting on me to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to the conchu. Conchu are kind of like lobsters. They roll up into balls and then they roll at you. When they're rolling at you, they knock you over and it's super annoying. Uh, but their shells are very hard and can be used for all types of armor and things like that. So they're kind of like one of the first monsters that you have to go through. Now, the areas can seem a little bit daunting at first because there's a lot and you don't know where to go or things like that. Uh, but don't worry about it. You'll learn the terrain pretty fast. It's, it just looks intimidating, but the more you play, the more you learn. And uh, you'll start to realize where things are located. So say if you need honey really bad, you'll know exactly where the honey spawns, things like that. Look, and there's our conchu buddy. Tell me that wouldn't be really cool taxidermy. That'd be so cool. All right. So once you knock them over, you can see their soft underbellies and that's when you tag. And let's see, I got two down. See how my weapon power is already decreased? They're just, their shells are very hard. Wow, they're just spawning on top of me. How easy is this? All right, well, I should start carving some of these guys before they start disappearing. Yes, armor sphere. Okay, so armor spheres are what you use to upgrade your armor. So it's very important to get those. And I got some conchu shell, which I can use for <clears throat> upgrading items or making items. All right, all right. All right, see you. All right, all right. God damn it. So you can tell when you've killed a monster uh, when you can no longer hit them. Your weapon will just start going through them uh, other than obvious signs of them being dead. All right, so since there's no more conchus here, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to sharpen my weapon. You can see how the blade at the top was yellow and now it's green. Uh, that's just showing the sharpness level. You always want your weapon to be green. And as you progress further and you can get stronger weapons, your sharpness level will change from green to blue to all kinds of different colors to show you how sharp your weapon can be. Um, but for beginning stages, green is the sharpest you can go. Yellow means it's dull. Red means that your weapon is in dire need of sharpening and you're basically doing no damage at all. Uh, so always make sure you keep it in the green so you don't have to do as much fighting. So we can go to start and we can go to... Um, quest info and see how many more kanji we need to fight and we need three more to beat this mission so let's see if we can find three more around here usually they're hanging out around here where are all the kanji at climbing takes so long i really wish climbing didn't take so long or there was like a like you can run by hitting r It'd be cool if you could climb faster by hitting R2. Maybe in the next Monster Hunter. You know what would be really cool? would be a uh, Monster Hunter online. That would be so cool. Alright, there's our little Conchu friend. Oh, hi there. All right, 
we just need one more and we'll be in this quest. So this is the first monster quest. I mean, it's still a monster even though it's super easy and really doesn't fight back. Uh, the most they'll do is they'll roll at you and knock you over. That Banabra is more annoying, that little bug flying back there. It just, it just shocks you and paralyzes you. All right, so we have 60 seconds, so we turn back to town. So there's enough time to carve this guy and maybe go around and do a little bit of gathering. But uh, that was a pretty easy mission. This was actually a mission sent to me by the chef of my town. He wanted me to get some conchu parts so he can make better food for me in the kitchen. And you always want to upgrade your food buffs whenever you get the chance because that means that... Uh, you get better powers and better abilities from the food. So it's always good to listen to the chef and hear what he wants and get it for him because it only helps you in the long run. Not saying that there's any quests that aren't worth doing because they all definitely make you stronger and make your buffs better. Uh, but if you're in it just to play the game and beat it and get it out of the way, then you might want to skip little missions like, you know, fungus gathering and stuff if they're not required. And uh, you can always see which quests are required by going online and checking out. I know there's lots of people who have exactly what you need to progress in the game online. Uh, but personally, when I play with my friends or by myself, I like to do everything because I love the game. So it's all up to you. And I'm going to send all of this lovely Kanchu items to my box. I got some ones. All right, so we came back, and Cavernier is very happy to hear that it went well. I still don't think he's accepted me into the group yet. So let's see what next mission we got here. Hi. All right, all right, tell me what I got. Ah, nothing new. I got to talk to people first. <laughs> How dull. Oh, I remember this girl. She wants me to fight uh, some jaggies. And at this point, I just kind of passed it, but the people of the town don't really know me. I'm still trying to prove myself to them. So instead of saying my name, that girl just called me the hunter with the eyebrows. Um, and no matter if you're playing a boy or a girl, they still call you the hunter with the eyebrows. So I think it's kind of cute. It's a Japanese thing, but uh, just basically talking to everybody and getting this out of the way. <laughs> There's really no one talking to you when you're playing. Uh, like this. This is just beginning of the game type stuff, so don't worry about having to talk to a lot of people. Uh, it's just early game. They're just explaining how the game works to you. And here's the cook thanking us for doing that mission, and he has another one for us, and he's giving it to the guild girls so we can do it. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got a ton of new missions! All right, we got Lair Scare, Slay Eight Jaggy, Extraction Gargua, where you deliver two Gargua eggs, Sushi Fist, SOS, and uh, that's fishing, which is super relaxing and calming, and the Stinking Seltas, uh, which is hunting a Seltas, which is this big, big beetle bug flying insect. I mean, I'm not really sure what you would call it. It's kind of like a mosquito, kind of like a beetle. Uh, and that is our first real monster. And we're going to be doing that next time on another episode of KKG. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have so many more awesome videos coming your guys' way that you don't want to miss. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!